Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. Today I've just got a very quick unboxing of some Rosemary & Co brushes. Um, these ones are some new acrylic brushes. Uh, so without further ado, let's crack on. I like that, just in case. <laughs> So, I have a new case to go with my new brushes. So these ones, um, these ones are actually for my watercolour. Um, I wanted some uh, applicators for masking fluid. So that's what these two are for. So these are going to go straight in my watercolour set or watercolour um, containers group stuff so what I'm going to do I'm going to take all these out of the plastic um, you can see I've got a, a set there so that's how the set comes so I'm going to take these all out of the plastic I am going to tick them off on my little tick list to make sure I've got all the right ones so I will be back with you shortly so I've checked off all of them and I've got all the right brushes, so um, that's fantastic. Um, I like to check them off because I have had an occasion where one's been, uh, one set was missing. And doing it live on camera means that if there's, or you know, videoing and unboxing means that if there are any missing and they query it, you've got the video evidence. So um, I did start to unwrap them and then realise this is an unboxing. So these ones are my Shiraz pointed round. So I have a size six. A size 2, what was he for? Um, a size 1, a size 0, and a size 2, 0. So those are my pointed rounds in the Shiraz. And I also have some pointed rounds in the Evergreen, which are all the same size. So that would be these. So I have a size 4, and a size 2, a size 1, a size 0, a size 2, 0, and a four, uh, three, zero, three, zero. The reason I've gone for both of these in the pointed rounds, um, the evergreens are slightly softer than the Shiraz, so I, I'm sort of I'd like to try them both. Um, there will be a comparison video uh, in a later video, but I wanted to try them both so that I can see if they are softer and see if they are different because I plan on using the um, evergreen for the fine detail and then the pointed Shiraz. Um, pointed rounds for um, sort of ones that aren't as fine detail because um, I think these will be softer and better so that's why I bought two in the same ones so continuing on these are all Shiraz I have um, two short filberts a size two and a size four um, again oh those are combers I'll come back to that I then have a Shiraz again um, a number 12 in a short flat. Most of my work is quite fine detail and quite up close, which is why none of these brushes are overly large. Um, I then have a large mop series 107. Um, I've bought this for blending and softening edges. Oh, that feels nice. So yeah, a 107 series mop. Um, 
I then have um, I've got a micro detail which is a 15 zero and it's absolutely tiny I don't know if the camera will um, capture it so I might take a photo and just add it into the video but um, it's tiny really really small so that will do for dotting in eyes adding um, the highlights into eyes and very very small areas so that's my purpose of getting the 15 zero I then also have a number four and this is one um, an ivory pointed round and the reason I got this one is because I wanted to compare it to all the others so I've got um, a pointed round in evergreen and I think there's a pointed round in the set for the um, for the Shiraz which I'm now about to open so we can find out. So yeah, Shiraz, I've got um, pointed round, a size 12, uh, size 8 pointed round, four, a size 4 pointed round, I've then got a long flat in a seven and a short flat in an eight, a short flat in a four and finally a filbert in a six. The last, last one's promise. Uh, two comas in a series 2240 and the reason I bought these um, they were recommended for hair textures so again I'll show you a close up they're sort of very fine and are likely to make hair texture so I'm looking forward to trying these just for blocking in some of the fur so I've got two of those. I've got a size uh, one quarter inch and a one eighth inch. Um, so that's all the brushes. I'll put them in an order. <laughs> I'll, I'll put them in a better order and you can see then. Um, so you might have seen the cards. This is the card that came with them. And I thought that was very nice. Um, it also came, they also came with this leaflet. There we go relax in our cottage so there we go so these are all the brushes in a better order so I've got all my pointed rounds here um, these are the Shiraz 12 uh, 8 6 4 2 1 0 and a 2 0 I've then got the pointed rounds in evergreen over here a 4 2 1 0 Three zero and a two zero. There we go. I've then got the rest of the Shiraz. So I've got a long flat, a short flat in a size twelve. The long flat's a seven. A short flat in a twelve. Short flat in an eight, and a short flat in a four. That'll be for blocking in colour and doing backgrounds mostly. I've then got a filbert in an, uh, a six. A short filbert in a four and a short filbert in a two. I do prefer the short filberts. I use them in watercolour and I prefer the shortness of them. Um, I find I can get a bit more control with them, whereas the long ones are a bit, um, I don't have as much control because they are longer. And then over here, I've got the fine detail, the micro detail, the 15 zero, the large mop, series Y7, and then I've got um, the two comas, series 2240 one quarter and one eighth and then lastly the ivory number four i also bought a case for them all there we go. the case is really nice i've got one for my work so i have to label the two different ones so thanks very much for watching i'll include uh well i'll do a, a later video with a review of them and some artwork that i've done with them so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.